So, hello YouTube family, it's Leslie Smith, and I am coming to you today from my very own kitchen. And so, here right now at this point, we have Rosemary, who you all met yesterday, um, finishing her lunch, I guess, of peanut butter, Ritz crackers, jelly, snack, and, um, and I think they did some schoolwork today while I was at work and stuff like that. And then today with us, we have my handsome, tall, fabulous son with us today. Baby? Hi. <laughs> could you, could you like look at the camera? Your dad even looked at the camera. But I need you to stand up because I told everybody how tall you were. So go ahead, stand up. Stand up and show the whole YouTube family how, how much taller you are than your mama. Look at that. Isn't he handsome? Total football player. He has size 15 shoes, people. Do you know how, get out of my chair. Do you know how hard it is to find size 15 shoe? Let alone being here in Alaska trying to find a size 15 shoe. And to afford them. They're a little a bit expensive. So so if like anybody like Shaq or he loves LeBron James or James LeBron, right? LeBron James. Oh, LeBron James. <laughs> so if you all are watching this or any really big tall football players and you just want to, you know, send us some size. And he's got big, wide feet. Like he's like, like a quadruple. He has Fred Flintstone feet. I won't put his feet on video. Do you want me to put your feet on video? I will. Go ahead, put your feet up here. There you go. There's his feet. Look at that. Look how big. And there's Rosemary's feet. So all of my family has flat feet. I have pretty toenails, though. Okay. Yes, your toenails are pretty. Anyway, so Davey, would you like to tell people how you like living in Alaska? Uh huh. It's hot when I don't want it to be hot. Uh huh. But when I want it to be something, all I have to do is wait 10 minutes and usually it's here. Okay. And so, and so, is there anything else you want to share with the YouTube family about how crazy your mom is or anything? Would you please stop putting stickers on me? Thank you, Rosemary. She scored pretty high on like a psychopath test. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it runs pretty well in the family. <laughs> really well. Like, so you have like a 70% chance of winning. Yeah. No, more, like, more like 85. 85? So it's a good thing that I have that BAU file ready for you, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to start sticking these on you. Could you please Ooh, stop? These look like garbage. Who stickers look, are these? That, look, that's, that's Rosemary. She's sticking. That's, mm. the, that's the little uh, Cheshire cat. So anyway, as I came home from work today, it is very blustery out. So I did not do an outside thing, and it's very windy, which makes it even colder and stuff like that. And, and my husband was just watching one of his favorite channels, which is a, a towing channel out of Utah. If you put one more sticker on me, I swear to God I'm going to backhand you. Do it. You won't. Please do not put any more stickers on me. Look at her. Look at her laughing. Like she thinks I'm joking with her. Like she thinks I'm joking with her. That I will. Well, she knows I won't backhand her. No, I don't want a gold star. Anyway, and there's my husband doing everything today. He's getting ready to do some work downstairs in the basement. Um. And stuff like that. I think I'll put him in tomorrow's thing and ask him. So, what, Davey, do you think, by watching my videos, what do you think of your mother's videos on YouTube? <laughs> really trash? Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're really funny. You, you are not okay. Get out of this kitchen. <laughs> wow. Um, that was being fully serious. So what do you think, Davey, what do you think of your, when you saw your mom's, when I made you see the my first, first one, very, first very, one, very video? Very pathetic. <laughs> 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 really got me down, like, oh my god, this lady is, uh, 
my mom and I am uh, abandoning her. <laughs> <laughs> but then as it got into it, I saw that we were very happy, so I'm like, eh, yeah, she's happy, I'll be happy. Oh, that's so sweet. See, this is why he's my favorite son. But he's my only son, so that's why he, not well, child, son. Child. You are my favorite youngest daughter. I have no favorites. Yeah. Say that again, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so some things, so I have to really tell you all. So, I like your real message. Okay, guys, now I'm talking. Shh, shh, shh. Now you guys can go. Away. So, love you, love you on, too. Rosemary. Bye. Stop, stop. Love you. <laughs> no, bring back your face. You've got to see my child's face. Look at this. Look what she did to she her face. She's trying to do it. Look at that. Look what she did to her face. Look. Look. She's so, she has stickers. All, show them. Show them your face. Go ahead. Go. Open up your face. <laughs> oh my gosh so okay so i guess she's the quarantine thing is just driving her a little bit crazy so anyway for those of you, this is the cleanest room in my house right now it's my kitchen well no it isn't but i don't want to take you on the way so long and hopefully you won't in this video hear my dog projectile vomiting woo projectile vomits i mean projectile burps if anybody else out there is watching this and has a French Bulldog, she, um, she projectile burps. It is the most disgusting thing. I would rather her just barf once a week. But anyway, she was a projectile burper. But none of them have any, any real major, major health problems, as I said before. So, I was going to do... <laughs> I, this is why somebody said I should do all my videos from the restaurant, but there are some times that I just don't want to. Like today, I was not feeling it at the restaurant today. I gotta tell you. So, this channel is really to give me an outlet for my, for my extra energy. Or not extra energy, but my extrovertedness of speaking to people and being around people and stuff like that. And with everything that's going on, I have total faith in God that he's going to take care of me. He's going to take care of my family. He's going to take care of my loved ones. I have total faith that he's going to keep my business alive or our business alive. It's just not my business, our business, my husband and I, our business. That he's going to keep Rose's Cafe on its feet. Right now, my husband and I were discussing all the different options that we possibly could be doing. Um, you know, all the uh, paycheck advances, not paycheck advance, but everything that the government's doing to help, you know, the economy stay in check and up and whatever it is. So we were discussing that today. And I have to say, it's a little depressing. I just really have to say that. I am, I'm worried for a lot of businesses um, that might not make it. I have a lot of acquaintances and I have a lot of acquaintance friends. And what I mean by acquaintance friends is that we're friends, but it's not like we hang out all together. You know, our kids go to school together, we own businesses together, we talk. But, you know, it's not confidanted, you know, uh, things. But they're more than acquaintances. They're more than somebody I might just see every once in a while. And um, some of them I feel, I feel real scared for. Um, and I feel even worse because, you know, people aren't really talking about it you know you hear how my arm got tired so that's why the thing went down a little bit you hear how the big companies and you know all of them and um my sisters and my well my mom is obviously retired because she's in her 70s but um 
But my stepdad, Phil, or my dad, is not. He's actually still working. And, um, and just how this is just really strange. It's just a whole new beginning and it's a whole different thing and there are a lot of questions because one, I don't really think people have thought, including Congress, the president, the legislators throughout the states, I mean everybody, all world leaders, have really thought this thing through. You know, they haven't seen the um, the forest. They've seen the trees, but they haven't seen the whole forest, if that makes any sense. Anyway, but on a happier note, I got to tell you. So every time I post one of these every day, my husband, as you know, is a YouTube. He loves watching YouTube and we love watching YouTube. And as I said at the beginning of this, another little rabbit trail, um, he was just watching um, one of the YouTube ones that he has. They have like a yellow Jeep and they go, they live in, they're in the state of Utah and they go pull people out who's gotten stuck in mud and snow and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, kind of fun. Kind of doing the same thing we're doing. Um, so, I really don't edit any of these videos. What you get is what you see. I do it right on my iPhone and then I upload it. So, in watching these, I get the biggest kick out of watching these and just not even watching them, but listening to them and really how dorky I sound. <laughs> I really do sound dorky. And, 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 that, and, and that's okay, because that's who I am. What, what, what do you want to ask you? Oh, the crayon. Anyway, so I have a whole thing in the office that you can go use it. With. So anyway, so anyway, yes. So anyway, he puts it on our big, his big, you know, his big screen, the big TV out in the living room. And I just have to sit and I, I crack myself up. I crack myself up. So I'm hoping I'm cracking all of you up too. I'm hoping I'm cracking all of you up too in doing this um, and stuff like that. I hope I'm bringing y'all happy smiles and laughing and you just going, oh my God. And for the people who actually do know me, um, thank you I'm for sorry. not... <laughs> Thank you, Rosemary. Thanks. Thanks. I'm sure Danielle and Donna and everybody loves to hear that. So, I got to tell you what I did in the store today. So, because it's so funny. So, there are a couple people in our town that aren't able to get out for one reason or another. One of them is an elderly gentleman named Mr. Love. And um, he comes into our restaurant almost every single morning and gets breakfast because that's how he gets his exercise every day. I mean, he drives to it, but but right now, because of this, he's hunkered down. So I go and um, I told him, because he's a confirmed bachelor, and he does, his closest relative lives in Fairbanks, and so I said, you know, I, I go grocery shopping for you. We'll deliver breakfast for you. You know, no big deal. And so um, we went grocery shopping for him. And so, so I do that. And then... Um, the pastors at Valley Chapel, Robert and, and his lovely wife, Alicia Ferguson, they um, were able to finally go, they were able to finally go on a vacation with just them that didn't work base or anything. So they decided to go and go to, so they self-quarantined before every, anything came in for 14 days. So, you know, they leave stuff on the stoop, and I get it, and so I went grocery shopping. So anyway, they had me go grocery shopping for them today. And the last three times that they had asked me to go to the store for them, since they've been back, or the last two times, they have asked for Cool Ranch flavored Doritos. Now, guess what only flavored Doritos they didn't have? at the store that's in Healy, which is Three Bears, and that's okay. We understand that, their, their thing. 
they haven't had, you know, the family size bags of Cool Ranch Doritos. So today when I went in, I was like, because they got a shipment, but obviously no Cool Ranch Doritos in there. So why we were standing in line checking out Mr. Love's stuff and checking out the three items I just needed for the restaurant um, and the Ferguson stuff, I went over to the convenience store area and they had the snack, you know, the little bags. You know, not the little, little mm -hmm. tiny bags like you get 50 in a pouch, but you know, the ones that you buy in convenience store size. And they had 10 of those and I grabbed them all. I grabbed them all. And the cashier's like, you're taking all my Doritos. And I said, why, yes I am. And so, good for you. And even though they said it was a luxury item, it wasn't needed, I felt that they needed some Cool Ranch Doritos. That was it. I was gonna get them Cool Ranch Doritos. They are in there. I guess my son is getting all bundled up to go outside. Um, he's got on his huge, he's got a one piece snowsuit because <laughs> let's face it, he's, Big. And so I guess he's going outside, hopefully to maybe shovel some dog poopy. Hint, 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 hint. And he's completely ignoring me and has stopped moving. <laughs> now thinking that he won't, he won't, I won't see anything. So that was my hoarding for this whole entire since it's happened. That was my hoarding is that I took ten bags of the convenient size Cool Ranch Doritos <clears throat> for Rob and Alicia because they deserve them because they don't get out of self-quarantine until the 6th. Just like my, my one of my cooks from the restaurant, Mike, I quarantined him when he came in from Florida from working a couple months down there. I quarantined him and so so we do that too. So that was that. So nothing really exciting today. I just have to say that I don't mind any of your questions. Please like, subscribe, subscribe and, and um, share. And share. Because that's how I that's how you can find me. For the people who want to find me, my channel is Leslie's World. And we decided to name it Leslie's World because this is my utopia world. It's all about me. Me. And I'm going to make it all about me. But I know it really isn't all about me. <laughs> Which is pretty sad. <laughs> my daughter Rosemary, why you just saw that face and she's laughing. She just flicked a hairband into the leftover cake oh, pan. I meant to go like this. Yeah. She was playing with the rubber band and flicked it into the cake pan. Well, it's a good thing there are only crumbs left in that cake pan, but you know what? I can live on those crumbs. I don't have to have a whole piece. Well, <laughs> well, that's good to know. Because guess what? You haven't been around anybody to get any. And if you... I've been around all the villages. Okay. They're your siblings. Yeah, I don't have lice. Okay, shut up, please. Oh my God, do you see what I deal with? Do you? Do you hear this? Ooh, uh, please. Uh, I was gonna say. This is what she does to me all the time. Mom, can I ask you a question? And 20 minutes I later, I am something. still waiting for the statement or the question. At least she's not saying, something. at least she's not going, Mom, Mom. Mom, mommy, mom, mama, mama, mom. I was gonna say something. Just well, hurry up because I only do 20 minute videos. We're getting down to it. Getting down to it. What are you gonna say? Like, be kind in the comments. And free, feel free to ask questions. Yes. And if you're not kind, that's, that's okay. I too. will come back to you. <laughs> yeah, a 13 year old's gonna come after you people. Watch out. <laughs> Abigail is scared of me. Well, Abigail is a little scary sometimes. No, I said Abigail scared of me. Abigail scared of you? Well, you're a little scary sometimes. So, uh oh, I'm being called to come and look at Piggy. So, we'll go see what Piggy is going. So, excuse my carpeting. 
See, look at that. He's all set. Now, see, now this is how you go outside. Unlike Rosemary, who did not wear, who only wore her coat, but did not zip it up. So, see, he has on his big extreme things and his, and his, see, so he's in his big tight thing. He's going to go out. Yep, rub. See, that's how you don't get cold outside. Even though it's 20 degrees, it's really hot. So there's better pictures of Rue, Dozer, and Piglet. And Piglet is a full French French bulldog, but she has a genetic defect. She's got a tail. Oh, is she a mute? And stuff like that. So thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining in. Oh, Rosemary's waving. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, Davy, for today. Thank you, everybody. And if you have any questions, please listen, uh, list them in them, and I will get back to them because what else am I going to do except sit right where Rosemary was? And while my husband's watching YouTube, I'm usually watching my iPad and some show, or now I'm trying to listen to books. So, like, subscribe. Have a good day, everybody. And have a good day, everybody. Bye.